to go out today and find wild carrots. And I found a bunch. They don't look like the carrot that you might be used to. They do, however, smell like the carrot you would be used to. They have a distinct carrot smell. They're white and they're really woody. They're really tough. Um, these are not washed yet. But once you wash them, you can scrape off the outer layer. In fact, this one, I had a hard time digging it up. So it got really kind of torn up right there, but you can eat this layer, just peel it off and eat it. Or you can cut them up, slice them up and like boil them, eat them in your soups. I'm sure I think you could probably eat the greens too, just like you would a regular carrot, like maybe like steam them or something. Um, these type of wild carrots look very similar to a very poisonous plant, a poisonous hemlock. And so some of the things you look for when you're digging for these particular carrots, um, this is a nice, a nice big one. And I left the flower intact. It's got a really good root on it. Uh, so the carrot has hairs on it, really fine hairs on the stem. I'm not sure if you can see those hairs. Um, they're actually really small hairs, but definitely you can see them. Uh, they go up the entire stalk of the plant. So if you're looking at a flower that looks like this, and you notice that the stalk has no hairs and has little dark purple spots on it, like little pinpoint type spots. That's probably hemlock. Another uh, telltale sign is the wild carrot. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this. The flowers in the center have a red flower. This one's already wilting and dying and it's turned quite dark, but you should be able to see that flower in the center of the white flowers. Um, and then also you should be able to smell the carrot on it. If it doesn't smell like carrot, it's probably not a carrot. Um, the poisonous hemlock is, however, in the carrot family, so that's one of the reasons why they look so similar. Um, so look for the hair, make sure it's a solid green stem, and look for the little red flower in the middle of all the white. Sometimes you have to look very closely for that. Anyway, I, I ended up getting quite a few uh, carrots today. They're really they're quite hard to dig out. I use just a digging stick and I think it would have been nice to have a little shovel with me. Anyway, those are my carrots. Um, just for fun on the way back, I wanted to find some other stuff. So I found some clovers. These obviously grow everywhere. You can eat the white clovers and the red clovers leaves flowers. They should have kind of like a slightly sweet taste to the flower. Um, but yeah, so those are good. And then I found chicory. 
I didn't get it back here in time, and so the flower is pretty much wilted. But um, it's a light blue flower on the chicory. It's a relative of dandelions and sunflowers. Um, all of these plants, I don't know if you can still see the petals to have little teeth on them. They should have about five teeth on each petal. Um, chicory is really good. You can eat the roots um, or the lower stalk or the greens. They're actually used commonly in a lot of processed food, believe it or not. Um, they're used in a lot of like coffee flavored things. I found filberts or hazelnuts. Somebody probably planted this tree, um, but obviously nuts, can't go wrong with nuts. These haven't been roasted or anything. Uh, you can roast them, but you gotta crack the shell open, get the little nut inside. They're actually really delicious. So I got a whole bunch of these. And I found cattails, which I've never eaten a cattail before. And I wanted to try one. So they're really tough. Um, this is just the bottom. I have the whole thing though. The leaves and uh, you know, part of the cattail that everybody knows. So this is really edible when it's green in the summer when they're just growing. You can eat this part. Um, otherwise, you basically want to just like peel down the stem and then you get a piece like this. Um, it's really stocky and fibrous and pretty slimy in between the layers. Um, but evidently has really good starch in it, so you can um, use it for thickening like soups and stews or eat it just like this. It actually smells a lot like a cucumber. I don't know if it tastes like a cucumber, but that's what it smells like. So I think I'm going to try eating a little bit of this raw, but also cooking some of it and see what it tastes like. Anyway. That's all I got. The inside's very tender and delicious. What did it taste like? Mmm. So maybe I think you're only supposed to eat the inside. <laughs> oh, that's like eating a um um. Let me see here. This is like uh. Artichoke. No. Yes, thank you. Was that what you were really thinking? Because that's what, what. That I, is what I was thinking. What, what what you just did to that is what I see yes. people do with artichokes because I really don't eat them. But. Yes, but look, once you get into here, this guy, mm, no, it's even deeper in there. Do you want to try some? The dog's down here taking food. They're trying food. There's a piece in here that I can't really get to. 
Mmm, <laughs> that is like eating the tender heart of an artichoke. Cattails, who would have known? Mm. People don't even and, know what's in their backyard. Mm. That's really good. Mm-hmm. It's like it is like an artichoke. Kind of slimy though. Like I'm gonna definitely yeah, have that starch stuff, in here. Can you hear that white stuff that come in there that came out on my finger? Oh yeah. It's all over my tongue. Oh. That's for starch. Oh. You say it's really high in starch. Like a replacement for starches if you're surviving? Mm-hmm. There's evidently more starch in a cattail than in any other type of starchy um, vegetable. All right, why don't you try the uh, carrot? Oh, yeah. This one I think is too woody, but this one looks like it might be good. What's that a carrot? Mm. I don't think I cooked them long enough. Oh, wait, this one I do. No, I, I, I Carrots, wild well, carrots weren't cooked long enough, I guess. This one was. Yummy? Yeah, it just tastes like a carrot. Alright, oh. there you go. Wild eating at its best. I wish. Cattails mm. and wild carrots. Oh yeah, these would have had been cooked a lot longer, but look, you could eat this part of one. Want to taste it? That's the carrot or the... Yeah, it just tastes like... Like a carrot. Kind of like a carrot, yeah. Cool, all right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe button below and hit the bell for all notifications and like the video also and share. Tastes like a carrot? Yeah, hopefully it's a carrot, otherwise it might be dead soon. Uh, my phone's updating, I won't be able to call my I forgot to call 911. There's no care for it. Oh.